Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is Tennis Now presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, order today and it ships today. A lot of drizzle on opening day at the French Open. A very dreary day where the highly anticipated clash between Stan Wawrinka and Andy Murray, well, fizzled. Stan the man mauled Murray, 6-1, 6-3, 6-2, easily moving into the second round. Andy managed only 10 winners in his first opening exit in Paris since his debut back in 2006. Afterward, Andy was very candid, saying it was possibly the worst Grand Slam defeat of his entire career. Well, that doesn't feel good. And in fact, Andy even playing in Paris didn't feel good to Hall of Famer Mats Wielander, who was very bothered that the 111th ranked Murray got a wild card. Wielander very bluntly suggested that Andy was selfish accepting a wild card when he's clearly not the same after his two hip surgeries. Belander said he himself hung on too long, taking wild cards at the end of his career, and he called it the biggest mistake of his career. And he says Andy should be thinking about the younger players who need a shot. Now those remarks prompted Andy's former coach, Danny Valverdu, to respond on Twitter, calling the comments pathetic. But Mvilander cites Andy's record, 46 career titles, more than 61 million in career prize money, and he says he should step aside and allow the younger players to take those wild cards. He said he would love to hear from Andy why he's still playing, giving fans a false sense of hope that he could actually come back. Now we should note Andy defeated Stan in the Antwerp final to win his 46th title, and he did show some grit in August upsetting Alexander Zarev in the Western and Southern Open. Supporters say that shows Andy can still compete, and they say Clay has never been Andy's best surface. In fact, only three of Andy's 46 career titles have come on the dirt. So what next? Andy says he's going to have a long, hard think about his loss, but does plan to play again this season and says he aims to play the Australian Open coming up in January. Now, as to whether he can regain his former level of play, he says he can't physically be the same, but he's good at ball striking, his strokes are strong, and he still has game. And he's 33, but he knows it's going to be tough. He does, though, want to see what happens in the next few months. So, where are you on this? Thoughts about v comments and Andy's future? Sound off in the comment section, and we'll see you next time here on Tennis Now.